right, this is Siri the Gink, Eric Knight here. This is the Pepperhead Challenge. I'll read off a little bit about this. It says I need to purchase the product, which I've done. And I record the experience on camera eating the pepper and the aftermath. Each challenger must record a separate video and one camera take. Must say your name, Eric Knight. This is the Pepperhead Challenge. Then open the sealed package and view and put the whole pepper in your mouth. So it's one pepper and chew for at least 10 seconds before swallowing. Let's go ahead and try that. And this is Pepperhead Challenge. I've got to keep that in view for this thing to work, apparently. So, let's see if we're going to open this up. And trying to keep that all in view. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up so I can figure out how. package is scary looking. It says I only need to eat one of these, so we'll just grab the first one we come to. All right, I think it's been about 10 seconds, so I can go ahead and swallow. So that says I can swallow that after that. All right, let's see if there's anything else I need to do on this thing. What else is there on this pepperhead challenge? All right, describe the heat and the flavor. It was very dry. Tastes uh, like that extra earthy taste that you get when you get a dried pepper. So the drying of it changes the, the flavor profile, we believe. Heat comes on nice and strong. It's the back of the throat, super hard. Like you had a case of this strep throat. Ah. So try it out, you know, it tastes pretty good actually. The heat is definitely super strong. Um, it's supposed to be the world's hottest pepper, so that makes sense. Definitely not one that uh, I would eat out of hand. I've got a little bit of tearing going on. But all in all, it's definitely good. I might have should have bought some milk today. But excellent. So now I know I can eat these peppers. It's a Carolina Reaper. So... In all honesty, I think the uh, Big Black Mama that I had from uh, Mr. Townsend comes in pretty close to that. So, nice and strong there. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I believe I can do that now. It's already been open. And this one here is a lemon drop crossed to a biker billy. Now, I opened this up today and I was a little upset because I opened it up and I looked behind it. And this is still in the bag, so evidently something got into it. Clean it out as best I can. But I'm going to open this up here, see how many seeds we have on it. It's actually got a, uh, an appreciable amount of seeds for that kind of a cross there. So. You can see it's got quite a few seeds for that particular cross. Whew. 